Good day to all. We certainly have had a few days of very, very cold weather, and hopefully it's getting better. This past weekend, I used the example of Kirk Whalen, who's called the face of jazz. I used him in my homily. He is best known for, for the most listened to jazz solo. He, he plays Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. He tells us that his music is an experience of God. And when I listen to this piece, I truly get the sense that this is God's message to all of us. I will always love you. You can hear it in the background, I hope. And it reminds me of a Richard Rohr meditation where he writes, Jesus' ministry is not to gather the so-called good into a private country club and punish the outsiders, but to reach out to those on the edge and on the bottom, those who are last, to tell them that they might just be first. Rohr goes on to say that this is almost the very job description of the Holy Spirit and therefore of Jesus. Some call it God's unique kind of justice or restorative justice. Rohr states, God justifies things by restoring them to their true and full identity in himself, as opposed to retributive justice, which seeks only reward and punishment. And Rohr finishes his meditation stating, to receive unearned love is their only punishment. This is what I hear when I listen to this piece of music, this breathtaking piece of music from Kirk Whalen. This, to me, is God speaking to each one of us. What an amazing reflection for all of us. Restorative justice. Our only punishment is to receive honor and love. Have a good day. Let us celebrate God's unconditional love for all of us.